Hello, boys and girls. This is Mr. O coming to you live with uh, Mr. O reads messages with absolutely no cats whatsoever. They are in the other room. I didn't want them interrupting my uh, live stream, as it were. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing it a little bit different this year. Sometimes I find that I spend way too long doing the messages videos and um, I want to get this one done quickly because we've only got about four hours and then it is um, already the new year and I want to get this video finished before the new year. So it's a kind of a live stream feeling to uh, this video and it's appropriate because I'm going to be doing a roundup of the year, my year on YouTube um, as well. So let's see how it goes. Let's start off uh, with some messages from various different people. Um, let's have a little look at that, see if this is going to work. Ding! There it is. All right. So our first message is from my student, my former student, Ashvin. Um, he wrote to me uh, in July. He wrote, uh, Dear Mr. O, or Hi Mr. O, sorry. Um, how are you today? Pretty good, Ashvin, thank you for asking. Um, I am, um, on a, um, I got a bit of a funny throat, I'll be honest with you, but I'm, I'm basically fine. Um, I love all your videos. Thank you. They are super good. Thank you. And also, I have tips for Minecraft. Okay. Um, make a crafting table and, sorry, making a crafting table and sticks is not useful for combat. Let's change that. It's not useful for combat. So go to the book in the crafting table and craft what you want. I recommend going in a cave or digging down to get resources. So Ashwin is talking about my um, kind of notorious, uh, <laughs> terrible Minecrafting video. Um, I really wasn't very good uh, with playing Minecraft. And I didn't really get anywhere with it. So, and a lot of people have been talking to me about it and asking me and giving me suggestions on playing Minecraft a bit better. I think I probably will have another go at some point, um, but we will see how that goes. We shall see. My next message is from Chloe Ho. Um, and she writes, I am surprised, or Maybe I was surprised um, that you're in a textbook. At first, there we are, well on Google. At first, I thought, I guess, at first I thought that you were joking. Uh, then I started to believe you. Good job. Thank you for saying so, Chloe. Chloe is um, talking about uh, the time when I... Uh, this this was a previous uh, Mr. O'Ree's messages. Uh, you're in a textbook. Thought you were. She's talking about a previous uh, episode of Mr. O'Ree's messages with cats where I showed that I was, in fact, in a textbook. I've got it right behind me here. It is this one. It's called uh, New E for English. Uh, and this is sixth, um, sixth edition or sixth um, year group, I guess. Uh, and uh, I was very fortunate to be contacted by the publishers of this book. And they wanted to feature me in their book. And there I am. introducing Tom Gates. So I was tremendously proud to um, do that and to be part of that, and I'm very thankful to the very good people at Education Didier who um, got in touch with me and gave me this opportunity. If you are studying E for English in France, uh, please get in touch and send me a message and tell me 
how you feel about studying this textbook and and uh, seeing me uh, as part of it as well. I'd be very happy to hear from anybody um, who is watching this from France. So the next message is from our very own Mr. Aidan Sang. He uh, also messaged me in uh, July of this year. He writes, do you have any more friends or is it just Croc? Also, can Croc speak? Well, let's have a little look at Croc right now. Uh, just a waking up Croc from a, a little sleep. So, uh, so uh, Croc, uh, can you speak? And uh, do you have anything to say to uh, Aiden or the the other viewers at home? Yes, you. A anything at all that you want to say? No. St stop it. Stop that. Oh, sorry about that. Well, anyway, I think that's all we're going to get from Croc today. Um... Aidan, yes, I I do have a, some other friends, as you may have noticed this year on my channel. I've got some other teacher friends as well. So um, stay posted for more friends from Mr. O. This next message is from Sarah, who is my uh, student currently. She, uh, she wrote to me uh, at the beginning of September. She said, hello, Mr. O. Do you remember that time when you said, so this week I put on a I put a game on someone's table and then I kicked the wall. <laughs> no, I don't remember saying that, although it does sound like something that I might say. That is a very odd thing to say, and I'm afraid that I cannot explain what it was or why I said it. Next message, number five, is from Adrienne Wong. She wrote to me uh, in on the 14th of September. She wrote, Hello, Mr. O. We haven't talked for a few months and I have a few questions uh, if it's okay with you yes it's it's fine Adrian ask away so the questions are do you like your students and love teaching um, yes I I can give you a big fat yes to both of those questions I I love my students very much and I love teaching very much um, I feel very uh, lucky every day that I can get up and um, see my students and, and do a job which is so wonderful and get to hang around with such amazing people, uh, young people, um, all day as part of my, and get paid for it as my job. I think that I'm one of the, I think I've got probably the best job in the world. So a big fat yes to all of those questions. Um, and thank you very much, Adrian, for writing to me to ask these questions so um adrian is somebody that i know um through youtube she is also a youtuber and it seems like a good opportunity right now to have a little look at my youtube analytics and see um how i've been doing um this year so oh this is the last 28 days we don't want that we want the last 365 days so this is how I've done this year, 17.8K uh, views. That means 17,800 views, which is enormous, a huge amount for me. I'm very, very proud of that. And I really thank everybody who has watched one of my videos in the last um, in the last year. I'm very, very fortunate um, to be able to do something that I really love and to have people, you know, be part of it as well. Um, that equates to 627 hours of watch time, which is an enormous amount of, of, of watch time. I got um, 127 new subscribers this year. I want to thank each and every one of those new subscribers. Um, thank you so much for being part of my channel and for for watching and for subscribing. It is a really wonderful thing and I'm extremely fortunate um, if I click on audience while I'm mentioning subscribers I've actually gone above um, 500 subscribers now I don't know where the information is for that 
There it is. 544 subscribers as of today. Um, that is really wonderful, and thank you to all of the subscribers. Um, I would just mention it's a bit of a bit of a YouTube trope, if I'm honest. Um, if everybody who watched my videos was also subscribed, I would have a great deal more subscribers. As you can see, 78.8% of people who watch my videos, so 78.8% .8 of that enormous 17,800 figure um, view, uh, view figure are not subscribed. So it's almost everybody that watches my videos is not subscribed. So get subscribed click on the subscribe button um, it will be really it's really helpful to me when people subscribe and um, I really hope that you yeah you will all subscribe if you're watching right now so why not do it right now uh, and I'll stop talking about it all right so um, yeah they are the subscribers I'm very pleased to go above 500 uh, subscribers I know people like Mr. Beast and PewDiePie and people like that have subscribers in the millions but um for me you know as a children's channel as um as a um you know a, a um a, a small youtuber i'm i'm very happy with those numbers and i feel very lucky um i always love to look at the top geographies um the the, the people who have um watched from different places in the world so let's have a little look at that now so my top geography, my top place for people watching is Hong Kong. Of course, that's where I'm from. As many of my videos are about Hong Kong or aimed at people in Hong Kong. So I'm very happy about that. It's my home. Uh, in second place, second um, location where people are watching me, second most popular location is uh, the good old US of A, United States. God bless America. Thank you guys for watching me. That's very sweet. I'm very very proud to be watched um, in the USA. Uh, third place is South Korea. It's where I started my teaching career, career in Korea. Uh, so thank you and annyeonghaseyo to everybody uh, watching me in um, Korea. Thank you, guys. Next place, uh, in fact, joint third place is uh, Turkey. Um, I have a couple of students in uh, where I in my school now whose um, dad is from Turkey. They know who they are, and um, yeah, wonderful. I I I lived in North London for a while, and there's a, a really big Turkish community in North London, and uh, I had some Turkish friends, and I learnt a little bit of Turkish. I can say "iyi akşamla," which I believe means uh, "good morning" or "how are you doing." So thank you to everyone in Turkey. I've also got some viewers uh, over 100, almost 200 in Colombia. So hola to everybody in Colombia. Thank you for watching my channel. If you write me a message, I would love to know uh, how it's going in Colombia. I have a few friends from Colombia too. Also in that sort of general region, we've got Ecuador, Mexico and Guatemala. Um, thank you to all the lovely people from there who watched uh, me this year. Uh, we've got Taiwan. Uh, ni hao to everyone in Taiwan. I have lots of Taiwanese friends. Um, Spain and India and Indonesia are in there too. We've also got France and Canada and Russia. Um, a few views from those places. The United Kingdom, my own country, 21 views. Thank you guys, everybody in the UK who watch me. And uh, down in the in the teens, we've got the Ukraine, Chile. Costa Rica, Malaysia, Singapore, and Egypt. I'm extremely proud and happy to have people who have watched some of my videos from those countries. So thank you so much for that. Um, you'll have to forgive my camera from changing the exposure all the time. I, I, I think it's trying to figure out how light or dark to make it. Anyway, there we are. Um, thank you everyone who has watched me. Um, uh, and thank you to everyone who has uh, got in touch with me. Um, if you watch um, any of my videos, you will know uh, um, at the at the in the description of of, of all of my videos um, at the right here. You can see there's a link. If you click on that link, it will take you to my website. You'll have to excuse my connection; it's a little bit slow because I'm just on my Wi-Fi. 
um, you can send me a message. And if you are from um, Hong Kong, of course, or anywhere else in the world, I would love to hear from you. Um, you can write your name in here, you write your message, and you can choose some of these and send your message, and I will um, I will answer you in one of my Mr. O Reads Messages with Cats videos. So thank you to everyone who got in touch. Um, and please, if you uh, are watching and you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you have not ever sent me a message, then please do. I would love to hear from you. Let me know where you're from as well. So, speaking of people around the around the world, we let's go back to our messages. This is message number six, which came to me in September. This is from Liam La Fleur, uh, which is French for the flower. Uh, Liam says bonjour. This is in fact not a student. This is one of my friends. He's being silly. Anyway, thank you, Liam. Always lovely to uh, have a bonjour from you, my friend. Uh, next message is from Sarah Chan, uh, who wrote to me on the 20th of November. She wrote, Mr. O, click this link to watch videos of cute cats. I already know what this is going to be. I'm just going to humor you, Sarah. Rick Astley, never going to give you up official music video. Yeah, there he is. Sarah, I already knew what it was. You didn't rickroll me this time. Sarah is a huge fan of trying to rickroll me. I already knew. I could already guess. I'm not falling for that one. Next message is from Charlotte Chang. She wrote to me on the 21st of November. She wrote, Hi, Mr. O. Long time no see. I'm Charlotte from the BC. Not sure if you remember me. I was the student that gave you a really long nickname. Mr. Automatic Octopus Orange Ox On Off Other Oops O Overton O. And I used it in every one of our lessons. Yes, Charlotte, I absolutely remember. I remember you and I remember that incredible nickname that you gave me. You used to give us a card when we answered questions and we got to calculate our points at the end of the lesson. I still do that in a slightly different form in my current... Um, school. Uh, I was looking through my things and I saw the bookmark you gave me. I thought of looking for your website and videos. Once I found this website, I instantly remembered when you showed us one of your videos at the end of the lesson and it was so fun. How's your new job at your new school? How are the students? Merry early Christmas, by the way. Are you excited for Christmas? Well, at that time, I was very excited for Christmas. Uh, Christmas has already been and gone, but I'm excited for next Christmas. Um, I just wanted to say, um, Charlotte, that is so sweet of you to think of me, to get back in touch. Um, I always remember all of my students, and I always treasure um, any messages that I get from students. I keep every message and every little letter or everything that I get from my students. So thank you um, so much for for that. Um, it's really wonderful to um, be a teacher and to get to meet such a lot of people and if any of those people remember um, you as a teacher that is especially wonderful so thank you so much Charlotte for thinking of me and for getting back in touch and uh, I hope you will stay in touch as well the next message is from Gabriel um, he wrote to me on the 11th of December he wrote uh, in your latest video uh, where you're introducing Othello there is one piece that is wrong and it has made me go crazy <laughs> yeah sorry about this uh, actually I'm not sorry at all Gabriel I did that absolutely on purpose uh, Gabriel is referring to this video where I um, introduce uh, the game of Othello uh, where is it it's about halfway through I think here it is so I introduced the game of Othello um, this video is all about um, the games that I recommend um, and here it is. This is the very moment. Let's see if we can get back a bit. Um, I recommend the game of Othello because I love it very much. We've got this lovely close-up shot um, uh, going over the um, the pieces of the Othello set. You can see they have a black and a white side, each of them. Um, <laughs> and I very deliberately put, line them all up nicely. You can see black, white, black, white, black, white, except for this piece here. As you can see, I turned it around the wrong way. 
just to be annoying to people like Gabriel. So there we are, Gabes. I do apologize, uh, but I also happen to think it's pretty funny as well. Let's go on to our next message. This is the last uh, proper message uh, that was sent to my website, MrOverton.com. This was sent on Christmas Day from Joey. Uh, he wrote, Hi, thanks for the Rubik's Cube. I made over 70,000 views on my YouTube channel uh, with it. Um, the channel name is Not Joe Was Taken. Let's have a little look at that. So, Ooh, no, that's not quite what we want. That's Instagram. Let's try again on here. Here we are. This is not Joe was taken. And yeah, he he did extremely well. I mean, he got he got sort of many thousands of views very quickly with a, 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 a Rubik's Cube video. I think it's this one. Um and this is a Rubik's Cube that I gave to Joey just before he left. Um, he was my student. You can see just about, it says JMDB, these are his initials. So this is his video. Um, if you are interested in some of the things that Joey's um, talking about or, or making or showing, then uh, please uh, like and subscribe, go to his channel. You can um, see it right here, it's called not Joe was taken. So please like and subscribe uh, to Joey's channel. And thank you, Joey, for getting in touch. It was lovely to hear from you again. I was very, very touched to get a message from you again. I mean, it's always nice to know that um, a present that you've given someone has been useful to them and has made a little difference to them. Um, I got a, an email, this was actually in October, um, I emailed the writer of Creature Teacher, her name is Sam Watkins, she wrote to me and she said, Hi Simon, thank you for the lovely review, really good video, yes I used to be on Twitter but I had to come off as it was too distracting and not good for my stress levels, Twitter is a very distracting website. I'm happy that Creature Teacher is still out there and causing havoc in a Hong Kong park, best wishes Sam. So I was very lucky to um, get a message back from Sam Watkins. She is referring to my Creature Teacher video. Um, and she's referring specifically to a little bit, um, I just did a little joke about there being a lot of rules in this book and how there are a lot of rules in Hong Kong parks. Um, and I did a silly little thing there. Um, you will have to excuse my very slow loading time as I say the the, I'm on my Wi-Fi at the moment, so it's all running pretty slow. So I, I did this little thing um, where I go out into the park and I have a look at the sign. Uh, if you don't live in Hong Kong, you might not recognize these signs, but they're very common um, and they tend to be a lot of them. So this one here, no reading. Of course, I faked that. That's just done with Photoshop. No looking surprised. <laughs> and uh, I think no looking angry as or no getting angry as well that was good fun to do that so if you'd like to watch that of course you need to go and have a look at the creature teacher review so these are the videos that I uh, made this year um, I the first video of the year was this very long Mr. O. Reed's video which was uh, about the book uh, Disaster Diaries Zombies um, this was a 15 minute long video because it had um, the these little story bits um, included where you have a zombie version of Mr. O or rather just a, a zombie there's there's real me um, and then I hand over the book to a zombie version of me with long hair um, this was good fun to do and um, I'm quite pleased with the green screen which is here you can see me two two versions of me in the same shot so it's uh, always good fun to do a bit of green screen um, this was a, um, a fun video and uh, there's a, a little bit of a call back to um, an old video I think it was um, musical faces uh, a YouTube game that I did where I order a pizza and I have it sent to flat zero 
zero floor and you can see it right there zero floor and uh, flat zero there it is outside there so it's a bit of a callback um, in British English we quite often use uh, we quite often say O oh, to mean zero um, for example in phone numbers so that sort of O oh, meaning zero or Mr. O oh, that's what the little joke is with that so after disaster diary zombies um, I where is it here it is um, oh here it is um, had a little vlog um, selling my games. I have been, I have sold a few of them. I'm going to be selling some more this year and hopefully raising some money for charity. We had only one Mr. O gets it wrong this year, which was Red Pockets. We're almost coming up to Chinese New Year again, so that will become relevant relevant again. Now, because uh, the zombies video was pretty long, I, I, and, and quite often people only watch the first few minutes of video, so I decided to try and make my videos a bit shorter. But I don't want to take out any content, so I started cutting the videos in half. And the first one where I did that was Goddess Girls. Um, that's in two parts. And I, I think that works out quite nicely. Um, I also, I, I sent a tweet um, and I at mentioned Joan Holo, um, who is the writer of the Goddess Girls books. And she was very kind and she um, tweeted me back and that was very... It's very nice to be recognized. She she also said some nice things about the video that I made. After that, we moved. Um, I moved on to the Felt Tip Challenge videos, which were jolly good fun, and it was great to spend a bit of time making videos with my friends, uh, Mr. Rossiter, Mrs. Powell, and Miss Lizzie. You will have to watch number four to find out who the mystery guest is. Uh, after that was um, the Buddha's birthday video, which is kind of a vlog, but I also explain what Buddha's birthday is. And I continued that sort of explaining festivals thing um, two more times. We've got what is the Chongyang festival and why do we celebrate uh, the winter solstice, uh, Dongji. Um, I think that's really good because it, it's good for me to learn what these festivals are about, what they mean. And um, and I think it's, it's good for young people, especially in Hong Kong, to really understand what their festivals are all about. I also did the by the numbers um, videos to explain some of the maths behind the felt tip pen challenge. Um, the Tuen Ma line was open this year, uh, which is the where the West Rail line and uh, the 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 Ma On Shan line join together to make one giant long line on the MTR. So my review, my reaction to that is uh, was a video that was also fairly popular. The notorious uh, Minecraft video where I unsuccessfully played <laughs> Minecraft for about 45 minutes um, and everybody had a good laugh at how terrible I was. Uh, we've got Mr. O'Ree's messages with cats uh, where I reveal about being in a textbook. Uh, another couple of Reed's videos, Amos Lee um, and a Creature Teacher, I've already mentioned. And then the last few, we've got Mr. O Plays Mancala. There will be some more Mancala videos coming out soon. The next one is a bilingual playthrough with uh, one of my Mandarin-speaking friends, which will be jolly good, especially if you're learning Mandarin. And uh, just a silly little one, Mr. O solves two Rubik's Cubes without looking. Um, if you haven't figured this one out already, this is all done um, in reverse. So I um, took two solved Rubik's Cubes and messed them up and then reversed the footage so this is all this is running backwards and you can kind of tell it's running backwards if you look at me blinking because my blinks look just kind of wrong they go from slow to fast instead of fast to slow or whichever way around it is but uh, if you look at my eyes and you look at my blinking you can that's how you can really tell that this is a bit fake there we are <laughs> especially those blinks there so that is how I did that the magic of movies boys and girls um, I also did two um, fairly quick videos about board games to get for your Christmas list this still applies now um, you can um, ask for these for your birthday if you want to these are my board game recommendations and then the winter solstice video and finally um, just two days ago on the 29th I got a message from the Hong Kong Public Libraries um, good people and they told me that the video that I had recorded for them a long time ago 
um, was finally ready, and that was very exciting. So at that time, I, I did a little bit of behind the scenes, uh, bits and pieces, um, just to sort of show uh, the, the process of making this, um, showing the green screen that they had set up um, to film this. And uh, yeah, um, and I, because they had released their video at last, then I uh, was able to release my one. And um, if you would like to watch the full storytelling, then click on the link and you can have a look at it. This is a little preview of what it looks like. There's me. Um, I was extremely fortunate to be asked to do this. Um, I'm very, very proud to be able to help um, the the good people of the Hong Kong Public Library and and generally to to do anything to do with with libraries and and books and reading. So I'm very grateful for those um, people to get in touch with me and ask me to do my my little reading of this. <laughs> Of this book some pretty funny faces um, in this video and it's in 4k as well so you can watch it in super super high definition if you so choose except oh, it looks like I can't right now but you, you get the idea there we are 4k mr. O all right so seeing as we are talking about um, that let's have a little look at some of the videos um, no we've looked at all of the videos oh yes the last thing to do is to talk about um, next year and some of the things that I would like to do well I'm I have got quite a few new MTR games um, to to review I've invented a few games myself which I'm looking forward to introducing uh, one of them at least is an MTR game I've also got some other kind of maths based games which um, will be very fun to introduce to all of you guys um, I also have some songs that I have planned some songs that are written that are half kind of finished that I plan to um, publish um, as videos uh, very soon on this channel um, I do also want to talk about the poo games as well <laughs> um, I've been promising to do that for quite a long time I've got so many poo games I really need to make videos about them so that I can get rid of them or give them away or try and raise some money for charity with them um, and as always there's going to be reading there's going to be vlogs I want to do some more of the festivals uh, explanations as well um, and everything that you uh, hopefully expect from uh, the Mr. O channel so I'm going to leave it there boys and girls um, as I've said before thank you so much for watching this has been my 2021. Um, thank you for watching throughout this year. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for subscribing if you have subscribed and if you haven't, please do. Thank you for writing to me. Uh, you can always do that on MrOverton.com. Um, and yeah, have a wonderful and safe 2022. Let's all hope that this COVID thing gets a little bit better for everyone. So. Stay happy and healthy. Keep reading, keep playing games, and uh, I will see you all sometime in the new year. Bye-bye, everyone.